Hey everyone, Jared VK3BL here, and today we're going to unbox the Yaesu FD818, the long-awaited replacement to the Yaesu FD817ND. Now one thing I found interesting was it's actually called the FD818ND, and a friend of mine, Ben VK3HBN, has uh, declared this model the FT818 no difference. <laughs> We'll have a look at the box, and over the course of a few videos, we'll find out what the differences are. Anyway, let's proceed to the unboxing. So, like the FT817ND I got, you get a lovely Yaesu map of the Amber world. Um, one thing I did notice was that there was a spelling mistake on the last one. I wonder if it's here too. Um, no, they've actually they've, they've corrected it now, I think, but uh, I'll have to check that. So you get the ACE map of the world. You get a printed instruction manual, which is good for people who like these. A lot of the icons don't come with those anymore. You get some little feet. Now, I'm not exactly sure what they're for yet, but we've got some. You get the old stalwart, the MH31A Alpha 8 Juliet microphone. It's a dynamic microphone. In here's your battery, and this is well considered to be one of the new improvements. It's a slightly bigger model than the previous battery. Now I forget how big, much bigger it is, so I'm going to ask VK3HVN to read me out the capacity of the old one. This one is rated at 9.6 volts and 1900 milliamp hours for a total of 18 watt hours. You get the little ferrite suppressor bead. Um, I believe that's normally put on this here charger lead. You can, op you can use that for your car or you can use that for a lot of things. Um, it's just basically got the right plug on it and it's got um, you know two on wide pins. Now the stripy side is the positive with these radios. So if you're going to um, connect it to a, a Anderson connector or something like that, or a power pole, the stripy side is the positive. Now this is funny because this radio, this box has actually been opened before. When Yaesu ships these to dealers, they don't ship them with the power adapter because they're different for each country. Now, so when your dealer gets the radio, they open the box up, Chuck the power adapter in and away they go. You probably didn't know that, but um, there's a little bit of trivia. We've got the SAD 18, uh, sorry, 16 Hotel, which is the Australian power adapter. It's 12 volts and one amp, but I believe that's actually a step up from the previous model. We'll have to confirm that. Um, I'll, once again, I'll check the, um, check the literature as well with this radio, but with the previous model, they did say that it was just for recharging, it wasn't for operation. So let's have a look here. Here's the 817, and it had a 9.6 volt, 1400 milliamp hour battery for 18, uh, sorry, 14 watt hours. So let's have a look. Is there any visible difference? I think this one's noticeably heavier. Um, about the same size. They look like they've come out of the same place. They have a different model number, uh, as you'd think. This one is a Sierra, sorry, the 818 battery is a Sierra Bravo 32 Mic Hotel. And the 817 battery is a Fox November Bravo 85. I'll just get VK3HBN to see if he can tell a difference. You get the aerial base for the BNC connector for the front. You get the six meter antenna. This, a lot of people think this is the uh, for HF usage, it's not. It's for six meter usage. You get the little stub if you only want to use two and seventy, and you get the Yaesu strap. And this has actually changed. The other one was more colourful. I'll have to show that in another video. But the other one, I believe, had some red on it and actually looked a, a bit nicer. So that's a bit of a downgrade. But um, you get that. Anyway, let's put things back. I'll try and see if I can do it in the, rever the, the right order in reverse. Because I'm going to take out the fun part. Now 
Now, some people la uh, laugh at unboxing videos and think, what are they good for? But they're actually somewhat useful if you have to ship something back for a warranty return or if you're going to sell something and you've forgotten what's in the box. So that's where the value of these come from. Let's have a look. I don't believe there's anything special hidden away. No secret surprises. It's just a tray to hold things. And uh, it's going to make my life hard. Back in there now. Um, nope, we've still got some things. Put that back. Ah, the pa that cable lives there. Little suppressor lives there. And unfortunately, the manual doesn't sit nicely there, I don't think. Um, oh, you can lift this part up. And then the manual will sort of fit in there, which is a little annoying. I think Yesu could have thought about that a bit better because a lot of people do like to keep things boxed up. Um, for if they're going to sell the radio or whatnot. So it would have been nice to easily pack the manual away in the box. A bit of a silly criticism, but that's just my personal opinion. And here, of course, is the, the battery data things. So, Ben, what did you think about the battery weight differences? It's a little bit heavier. A little bit heavier, we think. But other than that, it's just eight double A cells. Um, as you can. Now, actually, one thing I haven't found... Um, was actually I have to check the radio because I believe they also come with the um, eight AA cell holder, but perhaps that's actually in the radio itself. Let's have a look. Ah, yes, it is. There we go. Thought I'd look through the whole box. Now these can be a bit of a challenge to get out. You have to sort of lift them up and pull them back, and there's your little connector there. So. Before I close the box up, uh, we'll, now we'll leave that there for the moment. There's the lid. Let's put that back in the box. Fold that up. Put that in. And there we go. So, now I'm confused. Ah, this is a battery. Now, of course, with the um, NIMH battery, nickel metal hydride, um, you are supposed to give them a full charge before using the radio. Unlike lithium ion, which we usually ship with 40% charge, um, and you can normally use them straight away. Um, you shouldn't, but you can. Um, and let's face it, a lot of us do turn them on and have a look around. Um, nickel metal hydrates usually ship empty, so I don't know whether we're going to get anything out of this when we turn it on. Let's have a look. Oh, we do. And let's have another look. We can take that off. I should have put that back in the box. We'll leave that to in a minute, another minute. And it starts off in, uh, at 7 megahertz. The battery actually is, is reading full at the moment. So, what's the difference between this and this? 817, 818, and they're both NDs. The front panel is almost exactly the same. Um, ben pointed out that some of the writing is a, is a different colour. It's all silver here, where we've got a bit of gold here. Um, turn that off. The controls are identical. Um, that's no surprise. And I'll just have another look myself. Anything else that I can think of? Nope, they're for all intents and purposes, absolutely identical. Now, Yesu has not claimed otherwise. The main differences in the 818 here are the inclusion of the TXCO, um, the inclusion of a bigger battery, and also, um, what was the last one? Um, TXCO, bigger battery, there was one more. Um, oh yeah, that's right, the X, this is why it's so easy to forget. The extra watt. This has five watts, this has six watts. Anyway, let us have a play with this and we'll get back to you and let you know how much of a difference that makes. We plan on doing things like um, transmit stability tests, battery run times, and uh, 
Oh God, they even like to take the lid off and see if there's anything I can spot different. Thanks for watching. This is Jared VK3BL saying 73.